I wanted to see how much more I can do as an actress and what are my abilities. I want to discover more, more, more and learn more skills and feel more. And I know that her, she's facing extreme circumstances. That's, that might be not every day everyone could experience. I think I really have the passion for that. She's discovering herself, um, not on the surface, but deep inside. Mm, when she thinks that maybe the perfect her in other people's eyes is that way, but then you realize eventually you can be that and you can be more than that. I think everyone is just so perfect for their role. I have to say that Jed, I worked with him uh, maybe 10 or 12 years ago. So good to see him again. He's really the perfect, um, ro perfect person for the emperor. And Gong Li, oh my gosh, she is my godness. I'm a fan. I, I couldn't believe that this time I'm, I'll, I'll be work. I get the uh, opportunity to be work with her. So I just, I'm just, I was so excited. And I said I always wanted to chat to her, but I have to remind myself <laughs> that I have to focus on my, my work. I'm so thankful. I think she is an actor's director. She knows so much about acting, about how to express the right emotion. And she's pretty open to possibilities. Um, so when we rehearse, we rehearse before each scene. It could be go many, many directions. Mm, and she's always open with it. And I think we do share some qualities that we think will only um, show show the emotions and show the things that we really feel. We don't want it to be like uh, fancy or like big because I don't know if she agrees but I think that really the small um, details, even a breath, even a blink, it means something, especially on the, the big screen. Yeah, but I don't really like pay attention, you know, to really stand in front of the mirror. I say, oh, I, oh, but I think that I did build up uh, strength, the strength that I need to play the character. That's what I cared about, like how fast I can move um, and how I can use my strength to help with the, all the action sequence and even with the energy. And I think it really helped. Thankful the trainers. You see, because our armor, right? Uh, we have different color represents different uh, groups of soldiers. Um, and the red for Mulan, it works really well on screen. And I think it represents passion, brave, and love. Uh -huh. I think Bina is really good at using color to tell the story. There is a scene that uh, before Mulan go on her journey, she took the final last look at her family. She thought she might die. So, and then I remember that scene she taught me. I said, why are we using this color? It's kind of a cold bluish, purplish um, uh, outfit, costume. And she said, yeah, I want to bring the, you know, the little smooth and maybe a little sad underneath it, um, you know, quiet compared to the matchmaker scene that's happened before. So it's a contrast. Hmm, then I think I never thought about it. It's, it's something, some information for me as well. What drew me to this story was Mulan herself. And her journey from village girl to male soldier to warrior and, and hero was a story that had something for all of us and, and is as relevant and as resonant as it was when it was first written over 1,500 years ago. The vision 
for Mulan was to tell this story in the most epic and emotional way, but in a very real way, with an updated vision, obviously, in canvas. Every moment Yi Fei was on set, she raised the bar. She inspired all of us. She broke our hearts. And she, our jaws dropped at the level of skill that she brought to this movie. Yi Fei is an accomplished martial artist. She can wield a sword. She can ride a horse. <laughs> She's a brilliant, brilliant actress. And as if all of that wasn't enough, uh, the girl can sing. So um, she is indeed not only the complete package, but definitely the only one that could ever have played Mulan. It was a, a career highlight to work with Jet Li. He brings to the role of the emperor all the gravitas that you would expect in the Son of Heaven, but he also brings tremendous heart and soul and action so that when Jet Li's emperor leaves the throne to protect his people, you know it is going to go down. It was a joy working with the creative team. Many of them, um, most of them, are my longtime collaborators. And, and the one thing all of them have in common is that they're artists. They worked both individually and collectively on this vision. And at, at every moment uh, supported one another's work, did deep, deep research into Chinese painting, history, cinema, so that we could bring the best version of this legendary story to life. The original ballad of Mulan was written in the seventh century and it's been told and retold countless times since then. In fact, in fact, Chinese children are all taught the Ballad of Mulan. So Mulan in China is, is, is very, very real and very important and very alive still after all of this time. Um, so it's such an honor and a thrill and a tremendous responsibility to bring her to life in a new way in a new time um, and I'm I'm so excited for audiences to uh, to experience this new vision of Mulan where is the buzz you said